Hey, good morning, the practice stroke. Here's a couple of the brushes I'm gonna be using. I have a 5 8 angle. I had an eight flat, a 12 flat, and maybe a two script liner I'm gonna be using. These are all on onestroke.com if you're looking for uh, supplies, onestroke.com. And all my brushes, I have signature brushes, which are the more high quality brushes. And then I have which those would be lavender and white, or they might have red, uh, purple roses on it. All right, and then like this, okay. Um, and then I have my value packs, which are great because they're under $16 usually. They're all dark green handles and they're folk art one stroke brushes for my technique, okay. So this is all about, um, teaching you simple strokes to be able to get better at your one stroke skills, especially you newbies who wanna learn how to do this. This is a double loader. And on the double loader, I have a lid that goes on here to keep the medium from spilling out. Let me show you really quick. I like to remind you that this lid goes on here, all right, just when you're through, all right? And if you want these paints to last, first of all, I close them out and then I tap them like that, which makes the paint go to the edge. It's easier to double load, right? Now, also, if I'm not through, if I still have paint and I need to run out or stop painting for a few minutes, then I just clip this on. I match those, those clips there, clip it on. And I have a palette that this fits in, that this fits in, but it won't fit into the palette with the lid. All right, the palette will fit a foam plate into it or this, all right? And you can hold it and walk around with it. All right, so this matches. You dampen this with water and then you put it here. And you can even put a copper penny if you're worrying about it getting moldy or whatever, if you leave it there for weeks. And then you close the lid. Make sure you pop it shut, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna do some simple wildflowers made with simple strokes. And it's really, it's a fun way to make a little painting, a greeting card or whatever. Now I'm gonna wet my angle brush, all right? And I'm gonna lay it on the paper towel for the excess to go off. And then I'm gonna pick up some green. I didn't get my sap green, sorry. So these are all multi-surface paints. You can use folk art acrylic if you have plain acrylic, but I use multi-surface because it goes indoor, outdoor, glass, metal, ceramic, and it doesn't need a sealer. So it's really wonderful. And it usually has a lid on it, but um, because of the shortages of paint, they started sending out a bunch with different labels sometimes and, and no detail on the top, okay? So don't get surprised if we ship that out to you and you're going, what is that? All right, so. Now what I'm gonna do is this was dampened already, right? So I'm gonna come right here between the two. So I got both colors. I come out here and I work it in. Really hard pushing to work it in. All right, so then I get a little bit more. I come here and work it in. I might need just more sap green. I can even come over here and grab some white to lighten it. And this is about half and half. Then get a medium and work it in. Only do this every third or fourth stroke, okay? Or you'll make a muddy mess. All right, so this is what you would do. There's two ways. I can paint my flowers and then see my little finger. I can grab at the bottom of the flower and pull down if I know exactly where I want it to be. All right, or I'm gonna need a little bit more medium because this is very dry, it's textured even. All right, so I'm gonna, I can get a long skinny stem, which is what I want. This is the toe and this is the heel. So we want the toe to give you the tip. So when I started up here, it was harder to get that thin tip. But if I start down here, and I'm, this is the fatal mistake. You do not lay the whole chisel down. You only touch the, chi the toe. And by touching the toe, 
and get these really thin lines. And you can add stems after. These are stems for a bunch of your flowers. You can add stems after or just put a whole bunch to start with and then and see where you're going to need a few. All right. Now remember, I can go back to this medium and I can work this in because this is kind of like, it feels like watercolor paper a little bit, but when I get it really inky like this, not for your stroke work, your flowers, but for this. Okay. Now I can also do another little quick thing. I want to come down so you can see it better. I can start here, I can lay the brush down to the side, and I can stand that. All right, that missed a little bit there. All right, so lean and stand up, lean and stand up. I can just put a few of those in there, don't get carried away, and pull a stem into it. Okay, now the first little flower I want to show you, I was just using this earlier where I put, this is six, five, six, seven, seven Q-tips. All right, so you can do less or more, all right? And if there's these stringy parts here, I can lay those down so that doesn't mess up my painting. All right, so I kind of separate them a little bit. I tap the bottom so they're all flat. This is dried. This is still wet, so I can use it. But after it dries, it really doesn't look very nice. All right, so I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to tap all around and see that I've got purple on all of it. Okay, looks kind of dark there. Let's come down this way. All right, there. Now I can get a little bit of this neon purple. All right, this is violet pansy, neon purple, and white. And so I can just tap it a little bit like this get some of those colors again this is better to tap on a paper towel all right then i can come right in here okay but that's not that's not very uh, bright i'm going to get a little bit of blue over here a little bit of purple violet pansy and then a little bit of neon so now let's see what that does all right so i'm going to come back down in here I'm trying to get you some some light okay so i need to come back i went back and tap some more white especially down there where it was dark a little bit more white now when i picked up the little bit more white i picked it up here and i tapped it off here all right just to make sure you see that all right, so show the little bit. Just that's one little quick flower. When this dries, it's not good anymore. So just keep, I, you can get inexpensive Q-tips at the dollar store. And see this, I just put a rubber band there. I keep losing rubber bands. So these are those hair ties. And I just tap them. And that has eight in it. Then I separate them. This this is dried white on that end. So, but I can get them all the same height and then separate them. Okay. Have fun. I want to see what you do with yours. Okay. Now let's let's pick another flower. Now another flower that you can do is you can just take your eight flat and you can add a little bit of just yellow spot of circles now you can use your daubers to do this but i don't want them exactly perfect i'm just trying to come out with a few little spots there 
Now I wipe that off and I just pick up a little bit of yellow ochre. Just a dot of yellow ochre on the corner of this brush. So you see that? I'm picking it up, yellow ochre. And then I pull it to the side. All right. Now this says moon yellow and yellow ochre. All right. So see, those turned out kind of cute and they're simple. You can put green in the middle or you can put a bright blue in the middle. Let me show you. Let's do a little bit bigger one here with moon yellow. Moon yellow. And maybe here so I have a triangle. One, two, three. All right, I'm going to wipe that yellow out. And I want to try putting some cobalt in. See, that'll be bright. Cobalt. Cobalt. Now, you can even make it nicer by coming in here with your one strip liner and dipping thick white. And you can put a few little dots in here. And that just gives it a little bit more dimension. All right. So those look like a little bit different flower. But I can get some citrus for the two script liner. And get some citrus and sand. I'll put this over here so y'all can see it better. And I can pull these. All right, but also I can come along here. Every little bit that you add to this just adds more. This has some purple here, so I'm going to pull that to cover that. Okay, so just grab it, grab it. All right. So there's a few different flowers so far. You can also come in here with some, this is an eight flat with cobalt and some sap, cobalt and sap, just on the chisel. All right, so you can use one little dot, push, 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 push down that green stem. Okay, now that's a little dark. So I can come over here with some citrus. Push citrus and cobalt. All right. So then all I would do, since this is wet, you can pull the stems down with that wet paint. I can also grab some of this blue. All right. Let's get a 12, because what I want to do with the 12 is make a little bit bigger flower. So on this one, we can bring this magenta and white, pick it up, work it in. Pick it up and work it in. Now, usually you don't need medium when you're just doing stroke work, and each stroke you pick up paint. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of this purple neon. All right, so I'm going to come right over here and let's start on an angle and angle this way, this way. All right, so those are the back strokes. I want to lay on the chisel here on this corner. And I knew that type of flower. Well, so now I'm going to come get white. And I'm going to put some white strokes right in front. 
You see how there's some petals in the back and petals in the front. But I need to come here. There we go. Just a little bit more. And see, I touched a teeny bit of citrus. Okay. So let's go down to a smaller brush. Let's get the eight and do that same kind of stroke. Okay, so I'm gonna put on, try this. So that I double loaded. So now, now with the eight flat, I'm doing pink on one side, neon on the other side, and then I can grab some white. So neon, pink, and then grab white. Okay, so, so I do one, two, I'm going to flip the brush over, three, four, five. I need a little bit darker. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so see how those go in there? No, so let me show you. There's a structure to this. All right, so see I have a line here, a line there. So I go touch, pull, touch, pull. And then I stand straight, pull to the side, straight, pull to the side. And then I can do one down here and pull up. All right, so I wanna come even closer. All right, so here's your center dot. So I'm going to push at an angle and stand up to there. Start as an angle and go in. Then I'm going to go straight over here and straight over here. I'm going to pull over, pull over. And then I can just even just do one across. And that looks like it's the front pedal. All right. So then I can pick up bright yellow. I got some wild hairs on that brush. <laughs> so touch, touch, touch. So practice that one. Keep going back and practicing that with me. All right. I'm also going to get my citrus and my sap again. And I want to pull little strokes from that flower. So I need water. The water on just on this liner makes a big difference. Okay. All right. I can do get a couple of these. Or sometimes you can just leave them without stems because there's lots of stems back there. All right. I also want to come over here to these now. And I want to grab this, grab that, grab it, grab it, pull it down. And then I can pick up some bright yellow and put that right there. So it looks like another little flower. They look a little bit like pussy willow, but they make a fun little flower. All right. Now, uh, so I've taught you quite a few little flowers. So the last one I want to show you for this session is let's pick up. I've got the purple on here still, so I want to do white and blue. Okay, cobalt and white. All right, so I'm going to come up here on this stem and I'm going to tap. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm tapping the dark blue. See the cobalt? If you look, I'm leaning on that corner. 
And then I go, I need more white. And then kind of do a Christmas tree shape. Can you see that? Tapping on the back. All right, so it's kind of fun. So instead of going way over here and putting another blue one and way over here, I'm going to come back down here and just do a shorter one. All right. I like just doing little tap ones sometimes. All right. So just look, I put a little, little, little. All right, there you go. And the last little thing is we can get these little scruffy. Oops, sorry. They're a little scruffy. And what color? Let's just do a light lavender, maybe. So I'm going to tap dry. This brush is dry. Never wet this brush until you clean it. Violet pansy and white. Okay. And on this one, we can just, just do little balls. And it just softens it and puts those little guys in there. Might put more in here. <laughs> Some little balls over here. All right, so there we go. So scruffy Q-tips, eight, six, tens, and twelves, small, all right? So have a good week. Just pick out pieces of this that you like and put it on a card or just pieces of this that you like. Like you can make a whole cluster of just yellow flowers. You can make a whole cluster of these little guys, like a field of them. All right, so change colors, have fun and share. Okay. I hope you enjoyed another practice stroke with Donna.